How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to go over two specific problems with Zebra thermal printers when you're connecting to a Windows computer. You may be getting a more pixelated barcode after you install the printer and that is because you're not using the best settings so we will go over the best settings in this video. And the second problem we're going to solve is when you're printer stops printing as soon as it hits the barcode. I've gotten this question multiple times on videos and on Instagram and hopefully this will help. I strive to make tutorials that can go through every single problem but I miss things here and there or I learn something after the fact. So that's where this video comes in. It's a specific update to a problem and if you have not already please give the video a thumbs up so other people can find it and get their printer best settings or up and running as it should and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the settings. We're gonna print sample label right here. This is just going to show you the default settings or close to the default settings. As you can see, it's printing very, very light. If you can see the barcode is kind of grainy and pixelated, it would still scan, it would still be readable, but maybe you want something that looks crisper, more professional. So that's what we're going to adjust right now. You're gonna go down here to the finder, type in print and pops up with printers and scanners. You're gonna press enter or click on that. Navigate to the printer that you installed and we're working on the Zebra UPS 2844. You're gonna hit manage and then over here to printing preferences. Now you saw how we printed before. That's how it was defaultly set up by the previous user or just by default. But this is what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up here to the graphics tab, click that and you see that it says dithering half toned. We're gonna to change that to none and that's gonna make it strictly black and white. We're not printing images, we're just printing barcodes. So we want it to be very, very crisp, black and white half tone or this ordered alg algebraic stuff. This all has to do with, I think, image quality and not barcode printing. So we're gonna turn that to none. And then over here, you're going to wanna make an adjustment if needed. If you are printing light, you can uncheck this and uncheck that. Turn your darkness up a little bit. This is what you're gonna have to play with on your own because I don't know how many inches or labels have gone through your print head. They're good for a certain amount of life and then you tick up the darkness a little bit and then it goes for a little bit while then you tick up the darkness even more. Jacking the darkness all the way up to 15 and the fastest print setting will give you an error, I believe because the print head is overheating. So if you have a printer that is just stopping when it's printing the barcode, it could be that your darkness is too high and your print speed is too high. So you need to turn your darkness down a little bit and turn your print speed down so your thermal print head doesn't overheat. That's my speculation is that it's overheating. Uh, I'll show you an example of that right now. I'm going to hit apply to apply those settings and then I'm gonna print that same label again and you'll see that as soon as it gets to the barcode it'll just overheat and just error out bam right there it didn't even print out if i pull a little bit you can see it didn't print out but a little bit of the barcode and that is because our darkness is too high our print speed is too high so we're gonna have to adjust bring down the darkness a little bit turn down this print speed a little bit this problem i've also found to happen sometimes if your power supply is too weak and the way to tell that is you turn the printer over, you look at it, input power, 20 volts, 2.5 amps. You wanna make sure your power supply is at least that. This power supply, it says, if you can see right there, this power supply is uh, 20 volts, 3.25 amps. So it has plenty of power to power this printer. It's just that we had our print darkness and speed too high. Okay, we're gonna go back into preferences we're going to adjust this down. We're gonna kick it down to 12 and we're gonna kick this to 1.5 inches per second. Hit apply, hit okay. We're gonna go back to our test label and then I'm gonna hit print. Okay. So that was a slower print as you can tell, but the barcode is so much crispier, so much better than it was with our initial settings. Obviously I've blurred out the personal information 
for the video. But if you just take a look at, if you just take a look right there in comparison, just take a look in comparison, the left on the right. So hopefully that helped you with your printer problems. I wish I was local for everybody and I could come over and help you set it up. With Zebra printers, they are good. They are more customizable than all the other guys and they are the leader in barcode printing. So they make a great printer. A lot of times it's user error or, or system incompatibilities that it wasn't designed for. Don't take it out on Zebra. You could have bought a used one that was pre-programmed to work with a specific system and just needs to be reset. There are so many different scenarios of problems and I'm trying my best to throw the information out there to help somebody because I've been there with frustration. You can see in many of my videos where I just sit there and try to fix a, a printer that I bought that was broken. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already turned the like button blue, please do, do, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.